What's up movie fans, Caroline aka Kaz the Geek here with my spoiler free review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now let's get into Baby Groot. That's the first thing I want to discuss with you guys because you're not ready for how cute Baby Groot is on the big screen. It, he's gonna, you're gonna be sitting there and every time he comes on the screen just, ah, that that's gonna be your reaction. If it's not, you have no heart. I'm only kidding. But Baby Groot, Groot is very, very cute. That kind of rhymes. Now, on to the real story of the movie. So, as we know, Star-Lord, Peter Quill, meets his father, Ego, over the living planet. But that is not just what this movie is about. We get to explore the relationship between, just slightly, between Gamora and Peter Quill. This wasn't a big focus point on the film, but it did get into it just the tiniest of bits. Another relationship that was really explored is Gamora and Nebula, Thanos' adopted children. Now, between Gamora and Nebula, as we know, their relationship has been very rocky. And Nebula really seems to get have it in for Gamora, but we don't know why, and that gets explained to us in this movie. And we really get a true grasp of how evil Thanos is, even with the people he claims he loves so dearly setting him up for Infinity War. Now, the other relationships that were explored were between Yondu and Peter Quill. We also explored the relationships between Rocket and, well, everyone really. We understand more why Rocket is such a jerk to everyone. This movie is all about relationships and forming a bond with people that is just like a family. It's really beautiful to watch and play out on screen. Now don't think we're in for a massive drama here because there are so many comical points in this film. The other side of this film is the Easter eggs, which I can't get into too much without ruining anything for you guys and this is spoiler free. So all I'm gonna say is just to get you a little bit more anticipated and hyped for your viewing of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is if you are a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and if you are familiar with Marvel comics there are certain scenes people mentioned in this film that are gonna have you screaming like a little girl. You're gonna be like, ah! Seriously guys, I was just, oh, blown away, blown away by what is to come after this film, I cannot wait. Overall, Guardians of the Galaxy is a great film. Minus a few choppy scenes, this film certainly matches up with its predecessor. So when you go see this movie, do me a favour, do not read reviews. If you have erased them from your mind, do not go in with expectations to see this film. My opinion, a lot of the film's reviews that have come from this may come from film critics that aren't following the MCU religiously like you and I do. And also, they may not have a single comic book or graphic novel within their book collection as well. This movie is really for Marvel fans, and I cannot stress that enough to you guys. But of course, if you watched the first one and you do watch the MCU films and everything Marvel Studios does, you will enjoy this movie as well. Overall, I was really happy, and I'm giving this movie a solid 9 out of 10. Now, the release date in the US is May 5th. You can talk about the film if you have seen it right now with me and the rest of Geeks Gamers in our discussion group on Facebook, and I will leave a link to our discussion thread in the comments. But, you guys in the US cannot wait for you to see this film, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Solid 9 out of 10. It was a fantastic movie. I want to thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to geeksgamers.com. Subscribe to our channel. And I'll be back tomorrow with Super News, your weekly roundup of comic book movie and TV show news. Until I see you again, as always, guys and girls, may the force be with you.